let's say we would like to have a very simple circle. Going through this one for the moment. And then we punch in a curve like this and move those points out. Now we go to the rail command and say rail, uh, sorry, gener generation curve and rail. So all actually looks good. Now let's say we would like right there to have this curve there as well. So I can maybe copy and paste and move this one maybe to there. I would like to have maybe more subdivisions. Perfect. Then uh, let's go to here, two generation curves, one, two, and this rail. And this all looks good till we take a look there. Alias does not like actually to close this rail surface, but this is not really a big problem. We just have to approach this problem in the way how alias wants you to work. So this surface we're not throwing away. I'm just putting it onto this layer. And what we're going to do now is actually, for example, this is a bad circle. Uh, let's say two segments. Uh, this one was not positioned correctly. Here, everything should snap in place. So what I'm going to do now is maybe rail one, two, and three. And you see it actually selected this part next one two three and this part and for the moment let's take a look how this feels and there you see already there's a pinching problem so we know uh, maybe selecting the surface we have to do something like this first and second generation curve. Uh, maybe I would like both actually to be curvature. Next. And let's select now the surface. And let's go back. Also apply to curvature. Next. Let's go into top view. And there you see now actually that the transition is much better. See, this is nice and soft. Okay, let's go one step further. Let's select this one and copy this one over, assign. And I'm going to create from the beginning, applied curvature for generation curves. One, two, three. Next, close it and turn on symmetry. So you see with symmetry, actually, I on the fly get half of the missing model. It's not really there, it's just calculated. And because I created the surface to be starting from the profiles, which are planar to the x-axis. So the surface is also with the implied tangency or curvature, it flows nicely this way to here, so it flows nicely also out. So 
let's maybe turn on the other layers and you see there's basically nearly no difference so you can either work with two sites so you can individually work with them in case one needs to be other uh, different than the other or you can work half of a model but that also means you need to work with half of a circle and then uh, you can use the symmetry